All right, walking, carrying my bag that has straps for the shoulder. Ingredients in tow for another epic meal because why the fuck would you eat in a way that's not epic? And if you can't digest foods that are epic, you got more problems. And on that note, in response to my inflammation post, good Christ, that really upset some coaches and some people and confused the fucking world of social media. Might wanna go back to your PowerPoints on all foods create an inflammatory response. Might wanna go there. And then two, if you can't sustain a life where you have to be so fucking perfect with your food and so fucking perfect with your treatments and so fucking perfect with your supplements, otherwise you fall a fucking part, that's not natural healing, that's not healing, it's not even fucking truth. That's fucked up. And that's what we've got. So to deal with all those people who are like, oh, foods and inflammation, inflammation leads to disease. Does it or is inflammation a healing response? And if you don't fucking deal with what your body is asking you to change, it turns into another healing response. <gasps> and they call it another name. <gasps> so it's all healing responses. Oh my God. All right. Chew on that for a little while. Not the point of this video. I want to address real quick. There's a lot of comments. People saying, training should be fun. That move, fun. Training is fun. I enjoy training. Okay, valid. Let me just pose this for you again to stick inside of you and pickle. If your training is constantly made of fun and social and tribes and all that bullshit, that's cool, but when life demands more than fun, more than what your social circle is gonna provide, more than what your tribes are gonna provide, more than what the fucking stationary bike, and your body falls a fucking part and then tries to get your attention to change, and you keep coming back to, but it's fun. Your body won't lie. You are training to prepare for all life forces, for all experiences. If your training is constantly fun, social, and tribal, then life had better only be fun, social, and tribal. Okay, let's move along. The next thing, for people who think that when I say you don't go to a chiropractor, physical therapist, occupational therapist, reiki, body worker, trauma-informed, Pilates, yoga, body worker, did I say body worker? M-A-T-A-R-T, -A -A laser, trigger point specialist, acupuncturist, We'll stay there for my world, but you can add homeopath, German new medicine, naturopath, integrative, functional, all of them. You don't go to them because all of their disciplines, all their approaches are to identify a healing response, call it something like a symptom of some kind, scare you with a measurement of some kind, call it a special name probably, and then fix you. And then do their treatment, sell their thing that takes away that healing response, they just got in the way of you healing yourself. They got in the way of the healing response and the body's way of getting your attention. Now you're not aware anymore and you can play that game, but pretty soon the body's like, motherfucker, I love life more than fucking anything and you're fucking me by taking me to all these people. Do something or I'm gonna imprison you into a goddamn bed and survive the last of our bit like this because I want nothing more than to live. How about that? So they think <laughs> the opposite of that when I'm saying stay away from these places because no credentials, licensure, or certification holds truth. None of them are based on how the body works. None, zero, zero, zero. So if you see any letters after a person's name, any, any, and people love it, you just don't want them. But the opposite of that, everyone's like so, so I just go home and rest and heal? Because that's the fucking alternative? What goddamn planet do you just get to go home, sit on your cushioned ass in your 72 degree home, diffusing your non-essential oils and heal? 
or earn wealth <laughs> or get a promotion or have a happy whatever <laughs> on what fucking planet no with injuries you are going to have to go back and exceed whatever it was that damaged you in the first place through your movements from toes to thumbs personalized for you every single day your entire day is wrapped around movement because every single thing that's an essential in your life based on what you want to change to the level you want to change is dependent upon your ability to move your fucking body and how strong you are, period. If you're not addressing movement first, you're missing the boat. So the opposite of going to all these ridiculous offices or participating in what these people are selling is sitting around and that's natural healing. That's what I'm talking about. You got a long way to go if that's how you interpret my message, but that's fine. Maybe I'm not being clear enough. Hopefully this helps. Dinner awaits.